In this section, let's talk about the app we're going to build. The link to the wireframes of our design can be found in the description below. We're going to build an application that we are going to call a coding AI app. In this application, our users will interact with four different screens. In the first screen, uh, we'll have a landing screen to welcome the user to the application. The screen will consist of a simple icon, a text uh, which shows more of a heading, head, headline, and uh, we'll have a small tagline. And then below it, we'll have a simple button that directs us to the next screen, which will be the second screen, and we'll, we'll call it the playground screen. This is where we will interact with OpenAI a lot and implement prompt engineering. It will consist of an input where we will enter our prompt and a section below it where the completion will be displayed. Since Flutter's ecosystem revolves around widgets, in this tutorial our prompts will focus on getting completions in form of widget uh, code. If you're not familiar with any of the terminologies mentioned in this series, please follow me on Instagram for better understanding. Next, we'll have the completion screen. This will consist of this will consist of the completions that we have received during our interactions with OpenAI Codex, with the option to delete and drag the completions around. Lastly, we'll have the design screen where our completions, this ones, will be represented in form of UI. For example, in this case, this we received, uh, we're assuming after interacting with the playground, we received two completions. The first one is a text with a title, hello world, and the second one, this is an app overview. So on the design screen, to display the actual widget, which is hello world, and this is an app overview. So with this in mind, let's continue on the next episode and we are going to get started on designing the layout shown.